When you're standing to the golf ball, you never ever ever want to have the bottom of your club flat to the ground. No matter what anybody's ever told you before, that is wrong. Welcome to a brand new video. I'm gonna show you the exact way and exactly how your club should sit on that ground before you even start your swing. So this channel is powered by you, the viewers, and I wanna help you play your best golf this season. And today we're gonna to be answering Dave's question. Loving the videos, Alex. I'm hitting my irons great all year, but strike has suddenly gone within one round. What can I do? Well, this is the first thing I would check before even looking at anything else in the swing. The main reason for this video is to help Dave and help you, but I was walking, I think it was, it was this hole, yeah. I was out here walking my dogs. You can take your dogs here and it's quiet. And someone was playing the 11th hole, okay? Teeing off here. And I could see them doing this. So let's say you do it with seven iron. They were stood here, putting that club flat to the ground like that, and then building their stance so their club was flush to the ground, okay? That's what it looked like. Now, if I do the same thing even with five iron, look what I look like, okay? Look at this. This is what we've got to really, really avoid. Now, if you are doing this simply, you're gonna, one, probably get the toe tip the ground, and two, always hit those weak shots off to the right. What the important thing is, you get your club to come flat into the ground, into impact, not start there really not start there that oh that no don't do not start there okay so this is exactly why i'm saying this so if you've ever been to a fitting this will hopefully be a bit of a bingo moment for you you know when they get you to hit balls off that sort of plastic mat or plastic sort of sheet what they're looking for there is where and how is the sole of your golf club interacting is the toe hitting, is the heel hitting, or are we getting it to hit flush in the middle? And that contact, that line straight in the middle is exactly what we're after. That's showing that we're bringing the golf club in flat at impact. Doesn't matter really where it starts too much. Okay, within reason. Now, the reason for that is, now you don't need a bendy club. Um, I just don't wanna ruin my golf shafts. This is a bendy club. So imagine we, we swing this golf club round us, okay? And as we swing down on this downswing, the golf club makes that motion. Now you look what that's doing, coming closely there, the shaft's bending out and that toe is working down towards the ground. That's just naturally what happens. That's the physics of golf. That will happen to your golf shaft, no matter if you have regular, no matter if you have stiff, extra stiff, whatever kind of level of golf you are, that's happening. So if this is your piece of ground and that toe's then digging in, you can see sort of what would happen. It would open the face and cause the ball to start right. Weak, weak shots. Now, I don't want you to have that. So this is what I want you to do. I call it the coin trick, okay? Got a pound coin. This probably be the same as a two euro. I'm not quite sure what it would be in America. If anybody can get down in the comments, what size coin that would be. Now your little gauge and how I would do this, just put it to the side of you on the range mat. So imagine I'm on the range mat. I know we're on the 11th here, but I would just put this on the side of my range mat, just like that. And what I would do is before hitting a shot, I want you to be able to just fit a coin just underneath that, just one coin. Don't press it into the ground, just fit. One coin underneath that and understand, boom, that's what's gotta happen. This will happen in the downswing. If we start there with the hands up and that happens, as I said, we're gonna hit it off to the right. Now that's such an easy, such a quick measure. So look at the differences now. Before, that's how I set up to the golf ball. Straight arms, not where I wanna be. Have a look how much more relaxed. And I have told you this before, but I have to repeat it again, because it's simple. You look relaxed, you'll control your club face better, you'll create more speed, and I know for a fact you'll enjoy your golf. Right, here's a bit of a challenge. Can I hit this one? Tough one today. Good setup is key. So this is really important. I'm gonna even put it down on the tee just to remind me. And if you're playing with your mates, why don't you all just try this? Save the video and just all put the coin down. Okay, so there we go. Coin down, just get that measure how much slower my hands are, how much more relaxed. Just take that into your shot. And then I honestly know you're gonna play much better golf. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 
Sorry for the quiet, but that was just ripped, even on this wind. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please do subscribe and turn on the bell to never miss one of our five uploads every single week.